Welcome friends, in this one we're going to answer the following question. Why is a plane not through the origin, not a subspace of R3, three-dimensional space? These are the properties. So H, a set, has to contain a zero vector of R3. It has to be closed under scalar multiplication and it has to be closed under vector addition. The question is what do all of these things mean in practice? So you can do that by visualizing it. Take a look. Which is kind of interesting. Basically draw a depiction of three-dimensional space in two dimensions using the standard x, y, and z axes. And then from here, let's do this. Draw a plane. So the plane, let's say, will look like the following, like this. Let me make a copy, move this over this way. Okay, connect the line segment this way and then connect the line segment this way. So that's a plane. Now look, this plane, first of all, fails the first condition that it has to contain the zero vector of R3. Well, the zero vector of R3 is right there. This here is zero and it's a vector. It's the origin, in other words. Clearly that plane does not contain it. That's one fact. Okay, next is to this. Take a look. Next condition we want to check is it has to be closed under scalar multiplication. Is that true? Well, take a look. Take a vector, say, from the origin here, right, and draw it as a vector to that point on the plane. The issue is the following. If I scale this vector, so that means I multiply it, for example, by a constant, you see it's going to go through the surface, so to speak, and right out up above the surface. In other words, as it closed under scalar multiplication is false. To be closed under scalar multiplication means if you begin with this green vector and you multiply it by a constant, the resulting vector will still be located basically on the plane. Clearly this grayish vector is way off the plane. So in other words, we would say the following here, that not closed under scalar multiplication. One last condition to check, friends. It has to be closed under vector addition. This is the most extensive of the conditions. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take this here. I'm going to make a copy of it. And again, I want to check whether it's closed under vector addition. So for that reason, I need a couple of vectors this time because we need to add them. So draw a vector from the origin to that point. Draw another vector from the origin to some other point over here. And look at what happens when I add them. Now, these two vectors are kind of, as you can see, going from the origin to the plane itself. Then, when I perform vector addition using the parallelogram method, remember that means you take a copy of one and you move it to the tip of this one. And you place it there. And now, clearly, you see what happens when I go off the origin here to this point right there. This is clearly off the plane. It goes through the plane into the rest of three-dimensional space. So in other words, we would say the following as a summary on this part. Not closed under vector addition. Let me just move that comment so it's a bit easier to read right there, you see? And lastly, I should also label this one, right? So remember the condition for the first one was doesn't contain the zero vector of R3, three-dimensional space. So this is showing us how a plane, in other words, a subset of R3, fails each of the conditions. Therefore, you would say that when a plane is not with the origin, it's not a subspace of R3. And that is it. So thank you, friends. Please leave a like and subscribe. I hope it's been insightful. I'll see you in another video.